Hello Robloxians, and welcome to this week's Roblox Recap, a weekly series that will feature videos covering Roblox updates, announcements, and more that happen each week. This week, we got some news on the upcoming 8th Annual Bloxy Awards, a brand new avatar design contest, Roblox being nominated for a pretty popular award show, some huge news about Roblox coming to China, and so much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first story of the week has to do with an accessory that was recently released on the Avatar Shop that hints that the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards are coming very soon. Now, In case you weren't aware, the Bloxy Awards are Roblox's annual award show that showcases the best developers, games, and creators that make Roblox what it is. Anyways, let's take a look at this item that was uploaded. The item I'm talking about is this 8th Annual Bloxy's Voters Pin, which is a white pin with purple and gray accents that says, I voted on it. Now, the description of the item states, awarded to members of the community who cast their votes for the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards. So all you have to do to get this accessory is vote in the 8th Annual Bloxies. Now as of this video going public, there currently isn't anywhere to vote for the Bloxy Awards, but as soon as the voting process opens, I will be sure to update you right away on all my social media channels. Up next, Roblox has started another Arthro Avatar Design Contest that the community can participate in. The Arthro Avatar Design Contest allows for the community to come up with different designs for Arthro bundles to be put within the Roblox Avatar Shop. Let's go over some of the details for this contest. This time around, Roblox is looking for entries that are, quote, distinctly humanoid and show diversity and representation. All genders and ethnicities are welcome, end quote. They then go on and list some categories of bundles that they are looking for. These include everyday jobs slash professions, back to school, music and artists, fashion show slash future fashion, streetwear styles, cyberpunk, future soldier slash military, ultra ninja slash martial artist, superheroes, and magic slash wizardry. The contest and the winners will be judged and picked based on the following criteria. One, originality, meaning does your entry exhibit a style or aesthetic that is currently not available on Roblox? Two, realism, meaning does your design look realistically proportioned and detailed? In other words, does it look more live action rather than cartoonish? And three, creativity, meaning how unique or creative is your entry? Now, if you're interested in submitting a bundle to potentially be put in the Roblox Avatar Shop, I will leave a link to the blog post in the description below that gives more details, as well as the terms and conditions. All submissions must be posted under Roblox's pinned post on the Twitter announcing the contest. And remember, if you see any designs that you like, make sure to like them so they have a higher chance of being seen by Roblox and potentially winning the contest. Now, the contest ends on February 19th, 2021 at 1 o'clock p.m. PST. So hurry up and make a design before it's too late. All of the winners of the contest will receive $500 worth of Roblox gift cards and will be contacted via Twitter DM sometime on March 5th, 2021. This next story involves some pretty big news regarding Roblox in China. A few days ago, Roblox made a dev forum post to announce that the Roblox China application has been approved for use in China. Now this means that developers have some new opportunities to bring their games into China. Now since China has some stricter policies and regulations, it is important for developers to note that there is a process you must complete to have your Roblox game eligible to be on the China version of the platform. More information about these details can be found in the developer forum post in the description below, but I'll go over the gist of them here in this video. So the first program is the Guaranteed Payout Pool, or GPP for short. The GPP program provides financial support for early entrance into the China market by offering $2.4 million in total payouts to eligible developers. If you are ready to invest in China's long-term growth, this program is for you. If you'd like to apply for this program, the application can be found in the dev forum post linked in the description below. Those applications will close on March 3rd, 2021. The second program is called the China Fast Track program. The China Fast Track program is a highly selective program for developers that have demonstrated a previous record of success on the Roblox platform. It will provide services to expedite the readiness of experiences for the China market and ensure proper visibility and discoverability of experiences when they are released on the Roblox China platform. Now, Currently, this program is starting off with 50 open slots for global developers who can ideally complete localization and compliance work before April 15th. And if you'd like to apply for this program, the application can be found in the dev forum post linked in the description below. It is also important to read the fine details and the terms of services before applying your game to the China platform as it may impact you or your game's content. So once more, if you want any more information about Robux coming to China, the links to the application forms and some frequently asked questions can be found in the dev forum post within the description below. Developers, this next story is for you. 
Roblox has just released a new beta feature in Roblox Studio called Height Maps 2, which includes improvements to the original release of Height Maps that allows you to import terrain into your Roblox games easier than ever. Some of the improvements included in this beta release include one instant iteration, which makes it so your height maps are generated immediately without having to wait for moderation, two support for 4K images and 16 bit PNGs. 3. Improvements to the generation algorithm 4. Generated terrain is no longer hollow 5. An overhauled user interface to make it simpler to use and so much more. To enable this beta, just open Roblox Studio, click on File at the top left, then click Beta Features to bring up a list of features in the beta. Then scroll down until you see Height Maps 2 listed, and then once you check the box, click Save, and then you'll have to restart your Roblox Studio to apply this new feature. Now if you'd like to learn more about this new feature, I will leave a link to the dev form post in the description below. Once this feature is out for everyone, I will let you know via my social media channels. And now for the final story of the week. The story has to do with Roblox being nominated for a pretty popular award show. And this award show I'm talking about is the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. The Kids' Choice Awards is an annual award show run by the TV channel Nickelodeon that features awards such as favorite TV show, musical artist, actor, and of course, favorite video game. And Roblox was nominated for that favorite video game award. Now if you head to the voting page and scroll all the way to question 21, you'll see the favorite video game category. The games nominated are Among Us, Animal Crossing's New Horizons, Fortnite, Minecraft, Pokemon Go, and then of course there's Roblox. Now it is important to note that I'm not telling you who to vote for, as you are entitled to your own opinion, but I just thought I'd let you all know that Roblox was nominated for an award, as that is a pretty cool accomplishment for the company. Now if you'd like to vote in the Kids' Choice Awards, I will leave a link to the voting website in the description below. But that is going to include it for this week's edition of the Bloxy News Roblox Recap. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or useful, make sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe with notifications on to never miss out on the latest and the greatest Roblox news. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, Robloxians.